Hello everyone, welcome to IXAPI. This video is all about IUPS RRB SO Scale to IT Officer 2025. In this video, we will cover the eligibility criteria and the complete syllabus in detail. So let's begin with the eligibility criteria. So to apply for the post of RRB Scale to IT Officer, candidate must have the bachelor degree in electronics, communication, computer science, IT or its equivalent with minimum of 50% marks as aggregate. And you also need the at least one year experience in the relevant field. And if you have a certificate in ESP, PHP, C++, Java, PB, VC, OCP, etc., then your profile will be desirable. The age criteria to apply for this exam is 21 years to 32 years. Now let's talk about the exam pattern. The exam for a scale to IT officer will consist of 240 number of questions carrying total of 200 marks. You will be given 2 hours 30 minutes to complete this exam. There will be a sectional timing and the negative marking of 0.25 marks for every wrong answer. So the paper is divided into professional knowledge 40 questions of 40 marks, reasoning 40 questions of 40 marks, financial awareness of 40 questions of 40 marks. You can choose either English or Hindi to attempt this exam in which you will get 40 questions of 20 marks and in computer knowledge you will get 40 questions of 20 marks. Then quant there will be 40 questions of 40 marks and yes this will be a single level exam followed by the interview. Now let's talk about the cutoff. So the sectional cutoff for professional IT is 5.25 for general and EWS and 2.75 for other categories. For reasoning it was 3 and financial awareness it was 1.50 for English 5.25 for Hindi 11 and for computer 15.25 for quant and aptitude 6.5 and these were the cutoff for other categories. So you can see that the sectional cutoff is very low but the overall cutoff is quite higher than the sectional cutoff like in overall cutoff the candidate will require 50 55.75 marks to qualify this exam if he belongs to UR category and if you are belonging to SE then you will require 49.50 for ST 48.50 for OBC 55.75 for EWS 55.75 for other categories these are the cutoffs so now let's talk about the exam syllabus so as we all know, IPS has not officially released the syllabus for this post. The syllabus we will discuss in this video will be indicative based on the previous year paper. So let's get started. So for English, you need to cover topics like tenses, part of speech, indirect or direct speech, active passive, subject verb agreement, phrasal verb, vocabulary, RC, uh, address spotting, sentence improvement, sentence completion, fillers, match the columns, close test, para jumbles, idiom and phrases. These will be the syllabus for English language. Now let's talk about the con. So here is the con syllabus. And for count and, it, and for quantitative aptitude, you need to focus on simplification approximation, number series, quadratic equations, number system, profit and loss, present and percentage, compound and simple interest, permutations and combinations, probability, DI, data sufficiency, time and distance, pipe and systems, these will be the syllabus for quant and aptitude. Now let's talk about the reasoning section. This section will test your logical and analytical thinking. So the syllabus for this will be common sense reasoning, coding, decoding, inequality, silox, input output, blood relations, sitting arrangement, puzzles, data sufficiency, analytical reasoning. Now this will be the syllabus for financial awareness in which you need to study about the banking, RBI and RRBs, priority sector lendings, risk management, financial markets, all about the basic knowledge of financial markets and financial data and most importantly the current news of banking and economy sector and you need to also cover that budget and economic survey of the EO. Now let's talk about the now for computer knowledge see there are two papers the first one is professional knowledge and the second one is computer knowledge so computer knowledge will require the basic knowledge of computer and professional knowledge so this paper will be based on the stream specific subjects. So in the computer knowledge which will contain the basics of computer, history of computer, generation of computer, type of network, network topologies, MS office, computer hardware, software and emails, cyber security basics and computer languages, firewall, OSI model and the database management system introduction. So now let's talk about the professional knowledge. This section is most crucial for this exam. In professional knowledge syllabus you have multiple subjects like data structure, DBMS programming, networking, OS 
वेब टेक्नोलॉजी कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग साइबर सिक्योरिटी एल्गोरथम्स एंड द इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज सो लाइक इन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यू नीड टू कवर दीज इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम विच मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस्ड इन द एग्जामिनेशन इन द प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स लाइक फ्रॉम एर लिंक लिस्ट टैक क्यू ट्री ग्राफ हीप हैशिंग एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक एल्गोरथम कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक शॉर्टिंग एंड सर्चिंग In DBMS, there are questions from normalization, SQL queries, and relational algebra, and transaction control and concurrency control. For programming languages, you must have the basics of programming languages such as C, C++, Java, Python, and you you must have familiar with the object-oriented programming concepts. In networking, the OSI model and TCP/IP model is the most important model to be studied. And candidate must know about the uh, network protocols, network security system, and the firewall concepts. For operating system, memory management, file system, process scheduling, and centralization are the important topics. For web technologies, you need to study HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other front-end and back-end technologies. In software engineering, there are multiple questions regarding the models such as SDLC, Alig, Spiral. For cyber security, they ma- they may ask about the encryption, digital certificates, and authentication protocols. and now let's talk about the emerging technology so these topics may occasionally asked now these subjects are newly added in all the examination so you need to be prepared for these subjects to like cloud computing big data analytics internet of things artificial intelligence machine learning etc so my advice to give a special focus on professional knowledge this will be increase your chance to success in this exam and don't skip the mock test you can try the mock test available on i exam b The link is in the description. Now let's not forget about the dates. IPS has already released the dates for exam. So the official scale two exam will be conducted on September thirteen, twenty twenty five. So do not waste your time. Start preparing now. The notification is expected in July. So this is all about the IPS RRB scale two IT officer exam. Please remember the syllabus we have discussed was the indicative syllabus only. That was meant to be guide your preparation in the right direction. So if you found this video helpful then do not forget to like share and subscribe this channel and if you have any doubt please write in the comment box we will try to answer it as soon as possible thanks for watching prepare 50% faster with exam week